Hey y'all, what's up? My name is Sonali. Today I'm going to teach you how to get this waved hair look. One day I was being super experimental and I pulled out this waver that I had for like a year or so that I totally forgot about and I went ahead and waved my hair. Later that day I posted an Instagram story and I personally thought I looked like a poodle but so many of y'all asked me how to get this look. So I thought I'd make a video explaining the steps and showing you the specific tool that I use for this look. So let's get started. So this is the tool I use. This is the Revlon Waver. I'm not quite sure how much this is because I bought it like a year ago and totally forgot about it. Um, but it was very cheap, probably like around 30 or under. I will have the price on the screen right here as well as a link to this specific tool in the description of this video so y'all can check it out for yourself. Overall, this process definitely takes me longer than just curling my hair and definitely straightening my hair. This isn't my natural hair. This is actually a day after I used this tool. Um, so my natural hair is like almost straight. And especially because I have longer hair, it takes me longer to kind of get down like the hair strands. So if you have short hair, probably won't take you too long. But also I just started doing this so it could get faster with practice. One more thing I will say is that you have to finish the whole head to like actually see like, oh, it doesn't look too bad. Cause like when you're going, you're like, uh, this is like some Lizzie McGuire, like actually crimped hair or like 90s, like super like zigzag hair. It just, I don't know, sometimes it doesn't really look good when you're in the middle of it, but trust me, by the time you get to the bangs in the front, it will all come together. The first thing I'm gonna do is separate my hair, so I'm just gonna take the top and clip it up. Now that we have the bottom layer down and this waver tool heated up, we can go ahead and start. This is gonna be a little hard because I have like a mirror behind the camera. I can't really see my hair, but it's gonna be okay. We're gonna try it. All right, so I honestly take like quite a big piece, I would say, just because I feel like this flattens it out and then a lot of hair can be waved at the same time. So I'm trying to make it more efficient, um, but you know, sometimes it doesn't work out and then I have to do it over again. You can kind of just feel it out for your own needs. So recently what I've been doing is kind of like taking the outer bumps and starting with that instead of this, if that makes sense. Um, I don't know why, but I, I think that looks better. So I don't know. I'm just kind of showing you guys what I do. I don't really have much explanation to it. And you're going to hold it for about six to 10 seconds. And then you're just going to move it down where that other bump was. <laughs> So when you get to the end, make sure that the whole end is in the waver. Um, I don't really like to leave a loose end. Again, you kind of just have to like practice to see what looks best on you. So this is the final wave. As you can see, it's a little bit more defined than what I brushed out. I'm going to do the whole bottom layer um, and make sure this side is facing out and on this side as well. It's going to be facing out this way. And then I'll come back on here and talk to y'all about the top of my head. I'm done with the bottom of my hair and now it is time to tackle the top um, and this is probably the hardest part just because this is what's being shown the most especially when you get on the top of your head you don't want any crazy creases so I'm going to show you how to get rid of those and make it as seamless as possible and make it look like natural you know so I'm still going to keep the waver on the outside and I'm just going to go ahead and go as high as I can and then just crimp it or wave it I guess there's a difference there. I honestly wish this waver was like a little bit bigger. Like the wave was a little bit bigger. I think it would look so pretty. Um, I wonder if they have like a bigger waver, but honestly, I think this waver is a bit uncomfortable to hold and it's just like very chunky and my hands kind of hurt after using it. So just be aware, you know, it's a lot of work.
this is gonna be where it looks a little odd because you're gonna see a big crease like right there and it's just not gonna look the best, but it's okay because we will straighten that right out. So start as high as you can and it's totally fine if it's like diagonal a little bit because that's how I did it the last time. Now we have half of the head done and you can always fix it up if you see like that there's like a little stray hair, you can always just redo it. Um, and then obviously I'm gonna straighten all that crease stuff on the top of my head because that does not look very cute. Um, and I'm just gonna straighten it down a little bit um, so that the waves kind of start like here-ish. I'm gonna do the other half of my head and then we'll get started on straightening it. So I finally completed waving my whole head and now it is time to straighten out the creases up here. I don't know if you can like see it, but it's pretty bad. So we wanna straighten those out just a tiny bit to make it look a little bit more natural and just like, I don't know, not too creasy. Um, I'm going in with my favorite straightener in the world. This is the Babyliss Straightener um, Pro and I absolutely love this straightener. I used this in high school and then got like a mall straightener and it was just not anywhere as good as this straightener. So highly recommend this one. Um, and I think it's heated up, so I think we're just gonna go in. Just kind of smooth out that top crease. That looks like a hundred times better already. <laughs> and try not to brush through the waves because it's gonna start to look like very frizzy if you do that, so try to not touch your hair as much as possible throughout the day. So as you can tell, this side is like before with all the creases and this side is like after. Pretty good. So this is the completed hair look. This is how I wave my hair. Um, it honestly does look a little bit more crimped than waved, but it kind of looks like I like braided my hair overnight and let it out, which would have been a lot easier, <laughs> but it's whatever. Um, I think this whole process took me about 30 minutes or a little over it. You can also use any kind of product after you do it to hold it together. I might hairspray it a little bit and maybe put some argan oil in it. Normally I don't put hairspray in my hair, but I'm just worried it's gonna get a little frizzy. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye.